Are you tired of constantly being drained of your energy and happiness? Do you feel powerless in situations that seem to have no end in sight? Well, you're not alone. We all face moments where walking away seems impossible, but what if I told you it could be the best decision you ever made? In this video, we'll dive into the ancient wisdom of Stoicism, a philosophy that emphasizes emotional resilience and living according to virtue. With 13 powerful lessons, we'll explore how walking away can be the ultimate act of strength, not weakness. Whether dealing with a toxic relationship, a draining job, or simply negative influences, this video has covered you. It's time to equip yourself with the wisdom and courage to break free and reclaim your power. So, are you ready to live a life of greater peace, clarity and purpose? Then hit that subscribe button and join me on this journey to unleash your most excellent power. Let's walk away together. Lesson number one. Not everything deserves your energy. As you stand in a busy marketplace full of bustling sights, sounds and smells, each stall represents a different aspect of your life, including relationships, careers, hobbies and daily interactions. Your basket symbolizes your limited time and energy, and as you navigate through the market, each stall calls out to you, vying for your attention and resources. Seneca's poignant reminder, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it, resonates through the crowded marketplace. Although your basket may seem significant, its treasures are finite. Every trinket you choose, every stall you linger at, diminishes the space and energy available for others. Some stalls emanate negativity, like noxious weeds. These energy-draining stalls are home to gossipy conversations, toxic relationships and unfulfilling commitments, which leave you feeling weary and depleted. Clinging to these stalls, hoping for change, is like nurturing weeds, expecting them to blossom into vibrant flowers. Other stalls radiate warmth and possibility, these stalls are the home of supportive friendships, stimulating hobbies and inspiring conversations which nourish your soul, fueling your growth and happiness. These are the fertile patches in your garden, waiting for your careful cultivation. The key to thriving in this marketplace lies in discernment, which is choosing wisely what fills your basket. Ask yourself, does this stall align with my values and goals? Is this relationship uplifting or does it leave me feeling drained? Does this opportunity align with my passions or is it merely a distraction? Does this stall energize or deplete me? Does this interaction inspire and motivate me or do I walk away feeling exhausted and discouraged? Is this the best use of my limited resources? Could my energy be better invested in another stall, which might yield more significant growth and fulfillment? Walking away from draining stalls is not about indifference or cruelty, but rather an act of self-care, a conscious decision to nurture your well-being. It allows you to redirect your precious energy towards the fertile patches, cultivating a genuinely blossoming life. Remember, walking away doesn't have to be dramatic. Sometimes, all it takes to make a positive change in your life is a shift in focus, a polite decline of negative energies, or a mindful decision to limit your exposure to negativity. Each step of discernment and redirection empowers you to create a vibrant and fulfilling life, one aware choice at a time. This reworded version of Lesson 1 resonates with you and encourages you to make conscious choices in the bustling marketplace of life. Lesson number 2. Setting boundaries isn't selfish. Life can be compared to a dance floor where interactions between individuals are like graceful movements, each contributing with unique energy and rhythm to create an overall experience. 
boundaries are necessary to maintain safety, respect, and enjoyment, as in any dance. Epictetus, the renowned Stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of living in harmony with one's true self and values, also known as living according to nature. Setting boundaries is a fundamental aspect of this philosophy, not in the sense of building rigid walls, but of defining a space where one feels comfortable and empowered to move freely in the dance of life. Setting boundaries is often considered selfish, but this misconception stems from an inaccurate understanding of self-love. True self-love involves prioritizing one's well-being to engage fully in authentic and mutually beneficial connections. It means recognizing that one's energy and emotional space are precious resources and that one has the right to protect them. When dancers gracefully move within their space, respecting each other's boundaries, a harmonious flow allows individuals to express themselves freely without feeling suffocated or disrespected. However, when boundaries are disregarded, the dance becomes unbalanced, leading to discomfort and potential injury. Walking away from someone who consistently disrespects your boundaries is not abandoning them, but empowering yourself. It shows self-respect and communicates that you will not tolerate disrespect. Walking away doesn't have to be dramatic. It can be a simple, firm, assertion of your needs or a decision to limit your interaction, creating healthy boundaries and ensuring their enforcement is crucial to establishing space for authentic connections based on mutual understanding and respect. People who genuinely value you will respect your limits and these relationships will be more fulfilling and long-lasting. Remember, healthy boundaries attract healthy connections, fostering a dance floor where everyone can move with joy and freedom. Entering boundaries are established, communicated and maintained is an ongoing activity requiring continuous attention and modification. When asserting your boundaries, be compassionate but firm. Prioritize your well-being without feeling guilty about saying no. Walking away from disrespect opens the door to authentic connections. By embracing these concepts, you will be empowered to claim your space on the dance floor of life and cultivate connections that respect and celebrate your true self. Lesson number three. Closure isn't always external. Closure can be compared to a secret map that leads to a chest containing understanding, peace and the ability to progress. Rather than looking for this treasure in external validation, apologies or dramatic confrontations, we often spend years searching for it. However, as Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic emperor and philosopher, wisely reminds us, waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. The key to actual closure and true healing often lies not in what others give us, but in what we cultivate within ourselves. The attraction to external closure is understandable since we all crave answers, apologies, and a clear-cut end to unresolved situations. However, clinging to this hope can trap us in a cycle of waiting and dependency on others' actions. This mindset also keeps our focus on the past, making it difficult to heal and grow. Instead of waiting for an external sign, choosing to walk away and concentrate on inner work becomes an empowering journey of self-discovery. We unlock the treasure chest of closure from within through introspection, self-compassion and forgiveness. Treat yourself with the kindness and empathy you would offer a loved one. Validate your feelings, acknowledge your pain, and release yourself from self-blame or judgment. Self-compassion creates fertile ground for healing and personal growth. Forgiveness is frequently misinterpreted as condoning someone's actions. In reality, it's an act of releasing ourselves from the emotional burden of resentment. It doesn't erase the past, but prevents it from controlling our present and future. 
Forgiving yourself or others is a gift that brings liberation and lightness. Instead of focusing on why things happened, focus on what now. What did you learn from the experience? How can you grow and move forward with newfound wisdom? This approach empowers you to reclaim your narrative and rewrite the ending of your story. Remember, closure is not a destination, but a personal journey. Be patient and kind to yourself. While external validation and apologies can be helpful, true healing comes from within. Forgiveness is a gift for yourself, not the other person. Let go of the past and embrace continuous learning and growth. In Lesson 3, we encourage you to embark on a transformational journey of self-discovery, seeking closure within the treasure chest of your resilience and self-compassion. Remember that you have the power to heal, forgive, and move forward with grace and understanding, creating a future filled with peace and possibility. Lesson number four. Growth often lies outside your comfort zone. The comfort zone can be compared to a cozy cottage surrounded by familiar routines and predictable patterns. It can provide us with warmth and security, but at the same time, it can also limit our potential for growth and discovery. It can be daunting to venture outside our habits and try new things. However, the Roman Stoic philosopher Seneca reminds us that we should not fear death, but fear the possibility of never genuinely experiencing life. Growth and fulfillment can often be found beyond the confines of our comfort zone, waiting for us to unearth them in uncharted territory. The allure of the comfort zone is undeniable. It's where we feel safe, predictable, and in control. We're familiar with the rules, challenges, and potential outcomes. However, if we cling to it for too long, it can lead to stagnation, causing us to miss out on opportunities to learn, evolve, and experience the richness that life has to offer. Beyond the cozy cottage lies a vast and vibrant landscape, filled with possibilities. It's a place where new passions can be ignited, hidden talents discovered, and limiting beliefs challenged. Stepping away from unhealthy patterns or restrictive environments creates space for self-discovery and unlocks our potential for remarkable growth. It can be uneasy to go beyond what we're familiar with. We may face unfamiliar challenges, encounter unexpected obstacles, and experience moments of self-doubt. However, we must remember that discomfort is often a sign of growth. It pushes us beyond our limits, strengthens our resilience, and teaches valuable lessons about ourselves and the world around us. The unknown often challenges our beliefs and assumptions about ourselves and the world, allowing us to reevaluate, question, and rewrite our narrative. We must embrace the discomfort of challenging our assumptions as it will enable us to shed outdated limitations and discover new possibilities for who we can be and what we can achieve. It's important to remember that growth rarely happens within our comfort zone. We must embrace temporary discomfort for long-term rewards. We can start with small challenges, gradually expanding our boundaries, celebrating every step outside of our comfort zone we must focus on the learning journey not just the destination we are braver than we believe stronger than we seem and capable of more than we imagine this exploration of lesson four encourages us to embrace the transformative power of stepping outside our comfort zone remember the most incredible adventures discoveries and fulfilling lives often lie beyond the familiar walls. Take that first step, embrace the unknown, and embark on remarkable growth and self-discovery. Lesson number five, you can't change others. As you imagine life, picture a vast garden teeming with diverse plants, each representing an individual on your journey. Some plants flourish, while others struggle or threaten to overgrow your cultivated space. Epictetus, the famous Stoic philosopher, reminds us that the primary objective in life 
is to differentiate and isolate matters so that we can distinguish clearly between external factors that do not rely on us and those that pertain to the choices we have control over. While developing and nurturing others may be fulfilling, it is crucial to identify and separate these factors to maintain clarity and focus on the things we can influence. This lesson highlights a profound truth. While we may guide, nurture and inspire others, we cannot control their growth or actions. The pursuit of changing others often stems from a desire for control, leading us to neglect our growth and well-being while fostering resentment and frustration when our expectations aren't met. Instead, Epictetus urges us to identify our circle of control, the fertile ground we can cultivate with intention and effort, encompassing our thoughts, actions, reactions and choices. It's where we can nurture the qualities and behaviors that align with our values and goals. Walking away from the futile attempt to control others doesn't signify indifference or abandonment. It's an act of acceptance. We accept that others have their journeys shaped by their unique experiences and choices. We honor their autonomy while focusing on nurturing the blossoming life within our circle of control. Redirecting your energy from trying to change others towards self-growth and positive change can be empowering. This includes cultivating self-awareness by understanding your triggers, values and motivations, practicing healthy boundaries by setting limits to protect your emotional well-being, developing effective communication by expressing your needs and concerns with respect and clarity, and leading by example inspiring others through positive choices and actions. Remember that you can nurture others but cannot control their growth or destiny. Focus on cultivating your own garden within your circle of control. Accepting others' choices empowers you to direct your energy towards happiness and well-being. Lead by example, inspire with your actions and let your authenticity blossom. This exploration of Lesson 5 encourages you to shift your focus from controlling others to cultivating your flourishing life. Remember that the most beautiful garden begins with a single seed planted in the fertile ground, your potential for growth and well-being. Take care of yourself, nurture your values, and allow your authentic self to blossom, inspiring others through your journey. Lesson number 6 Trust your intuition. Life can be compared to a busy marketplace with many opportunities and demands, where different voices compete for your attention and pull you in diverse directions. The word no can be a powerful tool in this scenario, as it allows you to assert your boundaries, respect your inner wisdom, and protect your valuable time and energy. As Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher and emperor, pointed out in his Meditations, don't waste time debating what a good person should be. Be one. Saying no is not rude or dismissive, but rather a way to open the door to a fulfilling life filled with yeses that genuinely resonate with your soul's purpose. We are often taught to justify our decisions mainly when we say no, we tend to offer elaborate explanations, fearing rejection or appearing selfish. However, this quest for approval may distract us from our intuition, that inner voice that whispers wisdom and guides us toward what aligns with our values and well-being. Rather than seeking external validation, we should learn to trust our intuition. This subtle voice within us comes from our experiences values and deepest desires. When it tells us to walk away, we should listen carefully. A simple no, spoken with confidence and respect, is enough. It conveys our decision clearly without requiring justification or apology. Setting boundaries is not about isolating ourselves, but rather about creating a safe space where we can thrive. 
By saying no to things that drain our energy or violate our values, we can say yes to what nourishes us. This is an act of self-respect, demonstrating that our time, energy and well-being are precious and deserve protection. Saying no can have profound effects. It empowers us. Regaining control over our choices fosters a sense of agency and self-worth. It attracts healthy connections. Those who respect our boundaries are more likely to value and nurture genuine connections. It creates space for yes. By letting go of draining commitments, we create space for opportunities that align with our purpose. Remember, we don't owe anyone an explanation for our no. Our intuition is sufficient. Saying no is not selfish but essential for our self-respect and well-being. A well-placed no can pave the way for powerful yeses that resonate with our authentic selves. Embrace the power of no as a tool for self-discovery and self-respect. As we navigate the busy marketplace of life, let's trust our intuition, speak our truth, and create a life filled with yeses that align with our authentic selves. Remember, sometimes the most empowering option is the simplest, a firm and confident no. Lesson number seven, walking away doesn't mean giving up. Sometimes it's not always best to charge forward without thinking. Life's battles require a strategic approach sometimes stepping back and choosing a different path. In Lesson 7, we explore the power of walking away, not as surrender, but as a necessary maneuver for gaining perspective, strategizing effectively, and ultimately achieving our goals. The Illusion of Weakness Walking away can often be perceived as a sign of weakness or giving up. However, True strength lies in knowing when to disengage from futile struggles and choose a different approach. Our ability to see alternate solutions can sometimes be clouded by emotions when we are in the midst of intense situations. Stepping back offers several strategic advantages. Achieving clarity. It's hard to think objectively when entangled in a challenging situation. Walking away creates space to detach from emotional reactions and observe the problem clearly, allowing us to identify new possibilities and potential pitfalls. Conserving energy, engaging in unproductive battles drains our physical and mental resources. Walking away allows us to regroup, recharge and approach the situation with renewed focus and energy. Exploring new options Fixing one path can limit our ability to see better possibilities. Stepping aside opens our minds to explore unconventional solutions and creative approaches that might have been overlooked initially. Connecting with Seneca's message. Though the missing portion of the Seneca quote prevents a direct link, we can explore themes aligned with his philosophy to understand the strategic value of walking away living in the present. Seneca emphasizes enjoying the present, not dwelling on the past or anxiously anticipating the future. Walking away can be a way to break free from unproductive fixation and focus on present opportunities for growth and strategic action. Contentment with what we have. Recognizing that what we have is sufficient allows us to let go of attachments to situations or relationships that drain our energy. This creates space for pursuing endeavors that align with our values and goals, even if it means walking away from familiar but detrimental situations. Remember, walking away requires self-awareness and courage. It's about choosing the right battles and knowing when to disengage for a greater purpose. It's not about abandoning our goals, but taking a strategic step back to find a more effective way to achieve them. Listen to our intuition and seek support if needed. Trust that the most significant victories are sometimes won through calculated retreats and well-timed pivots. Embrace the strategic power of walking away as a tool for clarity, 
growth and achieving our goals. Remember that sometimes the most significant victories are achieved not through brute force, but through wisdom, self-awareness and the courage to choose the right path, even if it means taking a temporary step back. Lesson number eight, let your actions speak. Imagine a lively marketplace filled with people competing for attention. In this noise, staying silent can be a powerful tool. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, it's not what happens to you that counts, but how you respond to it. In lesson eight, we examine the power of silence, not as a sign of weakness, but as a strategic and meaningful response. Beyond words, the strength of silence. We often feel compelled to defend ourselves, explain our actions, or engage in arguments to prove our point. However, these efforts can be useless, exhausting, and counterproductive in many situations. Choosing silence in these moments is not passive. It's a deliberate act of self-respect and strategic communication. The messages conveyed by silence, setting boundaries. When someone disrespects or violates your values, staying silent shows that you won't tolerate their behavior. It establishes a clear boundary, communicating that you deserve respect and won't engage in unhealthy interactions. Inner peace. Choosing silence protects your inner peace. Engaging in negativity or arguments can create emotional turmoil. Stepping away lets you maintain your composure and avoid being drawn into unnecessary drama. Reclaiming control. Responding with silence empowers you to choose how you react. It prevents others from dictating your emotions or actions, allowing you to control your response. Action speaks louder than words. Sometimes actions speak louder than words. Walking away and focusing on positive actions that align with your values can be a more robust response than engaging in verbal battles. Walking away versus disengagement. It's important to differentiate between strategic silence and disengagement from life or essential conversations. Walking away doesn't imply apathy or withdrawal from important issues. It's a conscious decision to avoid unproductive negativity and focus your energy on situations and people who deserve your attention and effort. Remember, choosing silence is not about weakness, but strength and self-respect. Use silence strategically, understanding when it's the most effective response. Combine silence with positive actions that affirm your values and goals. Trust your intuition and choose responses that align with your inner peace and well-being. Embrace the power of silence as a tool for self-respect, effective communication and emotional well-being. Remember, it's not about avoiding all challenges, but about choosing your battles wisely and responding in ways that empower you and align with your authentic self. Lesson number nine, seek validation within. As you close your eyes, envision yourself as a budding flower, stretching towards the sun for the warmth and nourishment it provides. However, what if the sun only acknowledged flowers of a varying hue, leaving you feeling unappreciated and overlooked? This inner turmoil reflects our innate need for validation and Lesson 9 advocates for a shift in focus from seeking external approval to cultivating self-worth from within. The temptation of external validation. We yearn to be recognized, valued and accepted. Frequently we seek this validation from external sources such as acquaintances, family, co-workers or even followers on social media. Nonetheless, this pursuit can become an endless cycle of striving, resulting in disappointment and feelings of inadequacy. As the Roman Stoic philosopher Seneca astutely declared, it is a poor thing to live on borrowed opinions. The misconception of conditional worth. By seeking validation from external sources, we establish a basis for our self-worth, 
leading to conditional self-esteem. Our sense of value fluctuates based on the approval or disapproval of others. This makes us susceptible to manipulation and erodes our inner strength. Stepping away to embrace your authentic self, stepping away from those who diminish your worth isn't an act of rebellion, it's an act of self-love. It's about creating space to reconnect with your true self, free from the distortions of external judgment. This journey could involve identifying limiting beliefs and acknowledging and questioning negative beliefs about yourself imbued by others. Celebrating your uniqueness, embracing your individuality, talents and quirks that make you who you are. Practicing self-compassion. Extend the same kindness and empathy towards yourself that you would towards a loved one. Setting healthy boundaries. Shielding your emotional well-being by distancing yourself from negativity and criticism. Seeking validation from within. Proper validation comes from within, from understanding and appreciating your inherent value. This does not imply becoming self-centered, but cultivating a healthy self-worth independent of external opinions. Practices such as keeping a gratitude journal, concentrating on the positive aspects of your life and accomplishments, spending time in nature, reconnecting with your inner calm and finding solace in the natural world, engaging in activities you enjoy, nurturing your passions and talents, reminding yourself of your abilities, surrounding yourself with supportive people, cultivating relationships that celebrate your authentic self. Remember, you are valuable, worthy and enough just as you are. External validation is transient. Seek proper validation from within. Stepping away from negativity creates space for self-discovery and authentic connections. Embrace your individuality and allow your inner radiance to shine through. This exploration of Lesson 9 motivates you to embark on a life-changing journey of self-discovery. Remember that you are a unique and valuable being deserving of love and acceptance from yourself and those who genuinely appreciate you. Allow your inner radiance to shine brightly, nurtured by self-compassion and validation from within. Lesson number 10. Embrace fresh air. As you envision life as a flourishing garden with boundless potential, it's essential to recognize that weeds and withering plants sometimes stifle the growth of new beginnings. Lesson 10 urges you to embrace the power of letting go and releasing negativity and baggage to create a fertile ground for fresh starts. As the Roman Stoic emperor and philosopher Marcus Aurelius once said, the whole future lies in uncertainty. Live immediately. Refusing to let go of negative experiences or emotions hinders our ability to embrace future opportunities and the present moment fully. We often hold on to things that no longer serve us, such as grudges, regrets, toxic relationships and limiting beliefs, which act as heavy backpacks weighing us down and sapping our energy. They define our potential for growth, joy and new experiences. Letting go of negativity doesn't mean forgetting or erasing the past. It means recognizing, learning from, and then releasing its hold on us, like clearing out overgrown weeds in a garden to create space for sunlight, fresh air, and new growth. The benefits of this process are numerous. Reduced stress and anxiety. Letting go of burdens lighten our emotional load promoting inner peace and well-being, increased energy and clarity, releasing negativity frees up mental and emotional resources, allowing us to focus on what truly matters. Openness to new opportunities. By letting go of the past, we create space for new experiences, relationships and possibilities to enter our lives. Personal growth and transformation. Letting go can be challenging, but ultimately 
it leads to self-discovery and personal evolution. Although letting go can be difficult, it's a courageous step towards personal growth and a future filled with exciting possibilities. It requires courage, self-compassion, and sometimes support from loved ones or professionals. However, the potential that awaits on the other side is worth it. Imagine, replace negativity with positive affirmations and visualizations of your desired future. Practice mindfulness. Be present in the moment, acknowledging and releasing negative thoughts and emotions without judgment. Seek support. Consider confiding in people you trust, such as close friends, family members, or a therapist who can provide helpful advice and support. Celebrate small victories. Recognize and appreciate your progress, no matter how small. Remember that letting go is an ongoing process, not a one-time event. Be patient and kind to yourself. Focus on the future you want to create, not the past you are leaving behind. Embrace the fresh air of new beginnings and watch your life flourish with vibrant possibilities. This exploration of Lesson 10 encourages you to embark on a journey of personal transformation. Lesson number 11. Protect your sanctuary. It's essential to imagine a peaceful sanctuary within you where you can relax and feel content. This inner peace is the foundation of a satisfying life. However, the challenges and demands of everyday life can sometimes interfere with this peace. Lesson 11 reminds us that taking care of our peace is not selfish, but rather a form of self-care and self-respect. As taught by Seneca, the Stoic philosopher from ancient Rome. The temptation of sacrificing peace. When we try to please others, seek external validation, or tolerate negativity, it's often because we fear disapproval or rejection. We may compromise our peace to avoid conflict or maintain harmony. However, such compromises are expensive as they drain our energy and deplete our well-being. Seneca's Advice Finding Happiness Within Seneca teaches us that true happiness comes from being present at the moment, free of worries about the future or fleeting hopes. It means recognizing the sufficiency of what we already have and cultivating inner peace as the foundation for a happy life. This does not mean accepting negativity passively, but consciously prioritizing our peace and safeguarding our sanctuary. When to step away, choosing to walk away is a sign of strength, self-awareness and a commitment to your well-being. Here are some situations where walking away might be necessary. Toxic relationships, interactions that leave you feeling drained, disrespected or emotionally abused, unreasonable expectations, Situations where expectations, whether your own or others, create undue pressure and anxiety. Hostile environments. Surrounding yourself with negativity and criticism can erode your peace and self-esteem. Protecting your sanctuary. Here are some ways to nurture and protect your inner peace. Establish healthy boundaries, communicate your needs and limits, and learn to say no to protect your energy and emotional space. Practice mindfulness. Be aware of your thoughts and emotions. Observe them without judgment. Choose to detach from negativity. Develop self-care habits, engaging in activities that enhance mental, physical and emotional well-being is essential to lead a healthy and balanced life. Such practices may include Meditation, spending time in natural surroundings, pursuing hobbies that you find enjoyable and fulfilling, seek support. Make sure to surround yourself with positive and supportive individuals who respect your boundaries and contribute to your overall well-being. Remember, you are responsible for your inner peace. Prioritizing its protection is crucial. Walking away from negativity is not giving up. It's making room for what benefits you, 
nurture self-compassion and inner strength, and remember that your peace is invaluable. Take the journey of safeguarding your inner sanctuary. Remember, true happiness and fulfillment come from prioritizing your peace and creating a life that aligns with your values and well-being. Let your inner light shine brightly, nurtured by the serenity you cultivate within your sanctuary. Lesson number 12. Master your inner world. Life can be compared to a vast ocean where tides shift and waves crash, but a peaceful current represents your inner world underneath the surface. Amidst the chaos of external factors, Lesson 12 advises us to explore the depths of our psyche and find a reliable source of power within ourselves, the ability to control our thoughts and emotions. According to Epictetus, a famous Stoic philosopher, the key to happiness and freedom is to recognize that certain things are within our control and certain things are not. We can unleash our power by transcending the influence of external circumstances, internalizing this understanding and taking command of our inner world. The Fallacy of External Control we often strive to gain power in the material world, attempting to control situations, people and outcomes. However, this pursuit can be exhausting and ultimately fruitless. External factors remain beyond our control, leaving us vulnerable to disappointment and frustration. The power within. True power lies in mastering our inner selves rather than trying to control the external world. This involves self-awareness understanding our triggers, values, and emotional responses, managing thoughts, recognizing negative thought patterns, and choosing to reframe them into empowering beliefs, regulating emotions, practicing mindfulness and emotional intelligence to respond calmly and constructively, walking away, a path to inner strength, walking away from situations that sap our energy or go against our principles is not a sign of defeat, but a strategic act of self-respect. It demonstrates our commitment to prioritizing our inner peace and creating room for a more fulfilling life. By walking away, we please take responsibility for our reactions. We choose how to react to external stimuli and refuse to let circumstances or negativity control us. Reassert our boundaries. We protect our emotional well-being by setting clear limits and distancing ourselves from harmful influences. Empower ourselves for change. We create space for introspection and growth, fostering the inner strength to navigate challenges and pursue our true purpose. Remember, mastering our inner world is a continuous journey that requires patience, self-compassion and practice. Focus on what we can control, our thoughts, emotions, and responses. Walking away is an act of strength, not a weakness, that opens up opportunities for personal growth and authentic living. Embrace the insights of Lesson 12 and embark on a journey of self-discovery. Remember, the most powerful thing is not to control the external world, but to master the world within. By developing inner strength, self-awareness and emotional intelligence, we can overcome life's challenges with resilience, grace and a sense of empowered choice. Let your inner light shine brightly and guide you towards a fulfilling and authentic life. Lesson number 13. Honor your true self. Life can be imagined as a tapestry woven with threads of experiences, relationships and choices, some of which are bright and joyous, while others may be dark and draining. In Lesson 13, we are urged to be mindful of the threads we weave into our tapestry and to embrace the power of self-love. Roman Emperor and Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius once said, Don't waste time arguing about what a good man should be. B1. Walking away from negativity is not a sign of weakness or surrender, but rather a powerful self-love that honors our true selves and helps us shape a life that aligns with our values. 
Many of us have been taught to tolerate negativity, believing it to be an inevitable part of life. We may find ourselves putting up with unhealthy relationships, toxic environments, or harmful situations out of fear, obligation, or simply because we do not know what else to do. Unfortunately, this approach keeps us stuck in a state of mere survival and limits our potential for true joy and fulfillment. Self-love is not just about pampering our selves with bubbly baths and positive affirmations. It involves conscious choices that nurture our emotional, mental, and physical well-being. This includes identifying harmful threads in our tapestry and recognizing situations, relationships, or environments that drain our energy, violate our values, or hinder our growth. Walking away from these harmful threads can be challenging, but ultimately, it empowers us to prioritize our well-being. Embracing self-compassion means understanding that choosing ourselves is not selfish, but essential for creating a life filled with love, respect, and authenticity. Walking away allows us to reconnect with our values, distancing ourselves from negativity to create space to clarify what truly matters to us and align with our authentic selves. Moving away from darkness, we open ourselves to experiences and individuals who resonate with our light and nourish our spirit. Embracing self-love means aligning our actions with our values, even when complicated. Walking away becomes an act of integrity, honoring our true selves. Choosing self-love is a continuous journey that requires courage, self-awareness, and self-respect. Walking away can be challenging, but the rewards of a life aligned with our authentic selves are immeasurable. Remember to be compassionate towards ourselves, acknowledge even the most minor steps we take forward, and reach out to those we love or professionals for help when required as we continue this journey. Lesson 13 invites us to weave a tapestry of life filled with love, authenticity, and respect for ourselves. Remember, walking away from negativity is not an act of defeat, but rather a courageous step towards a future where we shine brightly, honored, and nurtured by the power of self-love.